G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today we're going to view the koi pond from the roof. Yes, that is correct. You may think, why the hell would we view the koi pond from the roof? Well, I'm getting up there to clean the gutters and naturally you guys know that I usually bring the camera with me when we go on the roof. Um, I had a thought, I want to climb one of these trees, but I might have to rope it. I want to like relive my childhood climbing trees, but the problem is the trees aren't very good climbers. There's no low hanging fruit, you know. But anyway, these chickens are out of control. What do you want? <coughs> Say hi to the chicken. Oh. Um, I've got to get my blower. The chickens, yeah. Ch Let's go feed the chickens, you guys can come. Get out of the way so I can take the food. They're ridiculous. I hurt them trying to walk around them. Um, oh, so someone... Sorry, just, I, I skipped my mind. Somebody said I should... I might have to get a professional to get the rats. Um, I actually buy the professional baits. I don't buy budding shit. And the rat that ate the hole in that isn't in my house. I know that for a fact. Well, not, I don't know if it's a fact really, but um, I keep my roof nice and clean. I'm, I bet you it's coming from the neighbor's yard and coming in to eat it, which makes it a little bit harder to get, but I'll get it. Don't you worry about that. All right, guys, there's not many options to sit a camera on the roof. So you guys are chilling there. Um, I got this like Yard King blower. It goes all right, but honestly, I think it's got a little bit of rod knock. And the funniest thing about that is, it sounded like it had a bit of rod knock. Can you hear it? I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. It sounded like I had rod knock from like the day I got it. So I actually run a little bit of two stroke oil in it. Um, the poor pond is going to get owned. So I did say I was going to show you guys the pond. There's the pond. It looks cool from up here. It looks not really clear from up here. I think it just looks really clear from anywhere because it is really clear. Bit of a spider web hanging over there. I didn't think of the fact that the shade sail is interrupting our koi viewing. I think we can't take the shade sail down now. Um, it's that time of year. I don't know if I can do it without tools. I'll be back. I know I really got to change my linking system for the shade sail. You guys rail me in the comments every time you see that, but um. Maybe we fix it before the next season. Um, I was gonna show you the guys the gutters. I might do this bit first and then I'll show you guys over here because this is where the main attraction is. All right, guys. This is out of control. I'm getting the trees trimmed. I say this every year, but I really wanna get the trees trimmed before the storm. All right, so I'm standing at the peak of my roof. How tall do you reckon this roof is? drop a comment. Look how much taller. I'm pretty much level with the start of the foliage. So that sheds 2.4 meters. 2.4, I know that six meters is like that branch there. 12, 18, I reckon they're 25 metres tall. Look at that, it's fucking insane. Anyway, if imagine if that fell, it would actually write my house off. I don't know if the banks do repairable write off for home. The leaf matter is really out of control. 
The only good thing is it's all dry, which is exactly why I'm rushing to get it done. I, I originally thought there was some rain clouds coming, but I don't know, I think it's just make-believe. I haven't checked the weather, by the way. So um, the pond looks atrocious. It's depressing. The poor pond. I tried to blow it all up and I'm going to blow it down to that end. I'm kind of trying to avoid, avoid making piles by just like cruising a bit over at a time. Get like one row. Let me know what you guys think. Is there an easier way to clean the gutters? Because like, this is time consuming, but I, I can't be fucked trying to get my hand down there. And then it's like, do I block off half of this and make a smaller thing? I don't think, think it would make much difference. I might try to take half off and have a good look. a bit rich if I hold it full throttle she dies for like if I hold it full throttle for expanded time but I don't know if I get the old screwdriver out if I adjust the card would it have a governor on it Can we get a bit more fucking oomph out of it I, I talk about trying to tune this up after telling you guys that their motor sounds like it's got rod knot. This isn't going as well as I remember it last year. I don't know what I'm doing different. I'll um, see you guys in a bit, I reckon. All right, guys. I leaned it out a bit. Um, I leaned it out to the point where like, it was not happy, but I found a happy medium. I got a little bit more RPM. It just, straight from, straight from idle, you can hear it leans out a bit, but it doesn't matter. We're not idling it, we're going full throttle. Anyway guys, we're gonna wrap it up there because I gotta seriously think about getting down to business. I'm gonna run out of daylight before you know it and uh, we don't wanna be on the roof in the dark. Also, I've gotta take that shade sail down. That was a bit of a dumb idea, pulling it down when I'm in the middle of something else, but oh well. I've gotta get out of the mindset. I've got into the mindset that you have dinner and then after dinner is couch time. I hate that mindset. After dinner, I can still do shit, but Cleaning the gutters after dinner is not an option. I mean more things like going in the fish room and how you going after dinner. But anyway guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. If you think I should change the name of the channel because of how much more vloggy it's getting than fish room, let me know. Um, the only people that I will consider the comments but is the regular commenters. But anyway guys, peace out.